What is the walk of grace swagger? Well, I believe our teaching big idea lays this out well. You see, my grace swagger is a walk of humility, gentleness, and patience. We submit to one another by thinking about what honors Christ in my relationship with that other person and what builds up the image of Christ in their life and doesn't tear it down to make myself look better. So we express humility by submitting to one another. You see, the greatest act of earthly humility is submitting my thoughts and actions to Christ and letting that filter into my submission to other people. Paul writes about what it looks like to model ourselves after the gentle nature of Jesus in Ephesians 4. And when he says this, he says, Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths, but only what is helpful in building each other up according to their needs, that it may benefit those who listen. And he goes on in Ephesians 4.32, it says, Be kind and compassionate to one another. Listen, uh, listen, gentleness, gentleness, the example that we are given of gentleness is is in Jesus. We walk with gentleness by walking in the way that Jesus walked. And that is the way of the shepherd. See, you may have noticed that I didn't finish that verse earlier, that Ephesians 4.32, I stopped halfway. And that was purposeful because the second half of this leads us into this realm of how do we walk with patience. You see, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other. As in Christ, God forgave you. You see... Forgiveness is something that we have to choose. It's an act of patience with people because they're going to do the same thing over and over again. Those of us who have children, we know this. We forgive our kids knowing that tomorrow they're going to do the same thing. Christ forgives us knowing that tomorrow we probably will as well. And so we, we walk out patience We walk with patience by forgiving and walking with others. We walk with patience by forgiving people and walking with others. We see in Scripture that the Lord God will never leave us nor forsake us. He will forgive us and then He doesn't go away. He walks with us. He gently restores us. He brings us back into right standing repeatedly over and over again. And this is what we are supposed to do with others. And we've been given the greatest example of this. Ephesians 5 verses 1 and 2 gives us the example that we need. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love. Just as Christ loved us, and gave himself up as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. You see, we walk in humility, gentleness, and patience by walking in the Spirit of God, who is love.